Alrighty, I ain't liking this wind. It is got the hind tit express going, but radiators out, transmission cooling lines are off. I just rolled it over to top dead center. Well, zero on timing. Right here's your timing marks. This cover's coming off. This cover's coming off. Everything down there. AC pump lays down over here. Alternator lays down over here. Then I should get to the guts of this uh, fiasco. So anyhow, the process has begun. I don't know if I'm going to video this. I just want it done, to be honest. Uh-oh. Oh, I know what happened. All right. I was wondering why this uh, belt slipped off that pulley, but when I took my fan off, that's what did that. So anyhow, I'll thermostat thermostats out I'm putting a new thermostat in it um, yeah my baby had to be rolling 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 again before too long I gotta try to figure out how to get into this I think I'm gonna pull this hose I don't know, I might run in, watch a video again. If you've never done these, check out YouTube. There are videos on how to do everything. And it doesn't do it for you, but at least it lets you know what the hell you're getting into. I'm used to the old cars where you had the fan, water pump, timing belt behind the water pump lined it up pulled the old gears off and pretty much that was all there was to them this is getting into the meat and potatoes of it um the only reason that i am doing all this is i was having a little bit of a heat issue and when my fan shelled out a couple years ago, it gouged my radiator. And I think it finally just blew a hole in it. But uh, I'm going to do the water pump and timing chain because, well... They have over a hundred thousand on them, and if you change one, you might as well change the other because, well, that's just the way that monkey works. All right, I'll be back. All righty, something that I did not know was. If you take this cover off, you can check out your timing belt. And I am really glad I decided to replace this one. This thing's cracked. You can see, maybe not. It's glazed on the teeth. So I am pretty much thinking, I'm not sure why it didn't break, but I didn't, and you can see down here, zero, dead on, dead on, so... Everything's good in the timing zone. 
Um, what I had to stop for is I needed to see about this coolant pipe. And I think in order to get to this wiring harness back here, I think the easiest way to do it is go ahead and take that cooling pipe off. Um, it says um, unhook it from the throttle body up here on the top. Um, I'm probably making a mistake for not listening. I'm going to disconnect right here, right here. Then I'm going to undo this bolt down here. And I should be able to just roll it forward so it's out of the way. That will allow me to get into this cover. Then really all I have left is um, covers. Then when I get into it, I can pull off the um, Oh shit, I can take the idlers off, pull out the old timing belt, put the new ones on. Um, now, on this mark right here, the cams are still under tension. And so what you do is you go ahead and you roll it over to the T. And what that does is that takes the pressure off of the cams, that way nothing moves and it will all stay right where you need it so anyhow i have to um i have to pull off the power steering pump and then the alternator I do believe and the alternator you have to take the alternator off so you can get to the tensioner um, when I get that far ahead I will go ahead and show all that shit so anyhow so far this really isn't that bad Anyway, I'm not thinking so. Alrighty. I will tell you one thing. That AC compressor is a cocksucker. Now, I might be able to get into some shit here. Pull these two bolts out. Walk this out. And... Um, holy shit. I bypassed all the cussing and everything. I will tell you this. If you just loosen up your power steering pump, it doesn't have to come off. You can walk it forward. That'll let your alternator drop. And... Holy shit. Everything after that is all going to be, I've got to dig out my impact, and I've already got my puller. That way I can knock this nut off, and then um, pull that crank dampener, or damper, and take that idler off pull this off and then I am at the guts of the situation and I can get the new or then I can keep going because the water pump is back in here um, yeah 
one thing about it, they don't do this shit easy. Hopefully it all goes back together and I don't have extra parts. <laughs> uh, that would be fucked. I have to find... Mm. Alrighty. So anyhow, there's that. Huh. That AC pump, everything was going good until I got to the AC pump. And it's just the location of the bolts, and it's like, son of a bitch. What a pain in the ass. Alright, later. Alrighty. So, I had to go buy a chain wrench. That way I could get the uh, damper off of the crank. And now... All I got left is this stud twisted off. I got to finish cleaning off the gasket. And then this pain in my ass can all start going back together. But it really hasn't been that bad. Just if you ever do one, take your time and just go slow because it's better to know where everything's going to go when you're when you're putting it all back together than it is for you to be standing there scratching your head going oh shit now what but i know where my leak was it was coming off of the water pump right here on this corner and so I'm really, I'm glad that I did this. Um, uh, I don't know if I can't see if I put it in the sun. You can't see it if I don't, probably. Yeah, that timing belt was needing to be replaced but at this stud I'm thinking if I can get two thin nuts on it and then get a hold of the back one use the front one for a lock I might be able to break that loose and get it to come out Somewhere I have a little tool that's a stud puller. You just put it on, it bites down, and you can pull them studs out. But I ain't exactly sure where the hell that's at. But anyhow, I think it will all... It'll all be going back together once I get that cleaned off and get, uh, get that stud out. So, <clears throat> works for me. Then I got to clean it up. I'm thinking about getting some carbon choke. Clean all that grease and all that shit off of it. That way it can at least start fresh and go from there. All right, I'll catch you after a bit. All righty, so it's all back together. Got the kid down here putting in the AC pump. Howdy. And then put the fan on, put the shroud in over the fan, dropped the new radiator in, and 
on I got to get my all oh, the chingadero get it all back together and fire it up I'll tell you what this is a no fun kind of job I almost wonder if it ain't worth the 1200 bucks to get them get them done but that's kind of somebody else's call it really isn't that bad it just is on the first time it's kind of a fucker all right anyhow that's uh later